Good morning, y'all. Big day today. I might as well say big week. We're trying to wrap up the plans on the Chickshaw 2.0 coming August 1st. That means tomorrow we need to make the video on that. It's going to be a special video. August 1st, Chickshaw plan. So today, I got to send beautiful one in town to get some things at Lowe's so we can, uh, you know, we've added some things to the Chickshaw 2.0. We need to get them in the plans. We need to get the item numbers. Yeah, we love you that much. We're going to go into town to Lowe's 30 minutes for like two or three things just so we can give you the item number so you can easily purchase it. Like order it online ahead of time or order it online to be delivered to your house. And on top of that, we got to get ready for the butchering on Thursday. So let's get moving. The lambs. Yay! Let me turn on the lights for them. We're going to start. We're going to start weaning Biggie. He's got plenty of eye color. So we're just going to do smalls this morning. Smalls is down to three times a day. gotten a little more spunky as he's gotten a little healthier. Small's eyes are a bit paler than I would like, so that's why we're staying on with this intensive management. Two flakes. Two flakes? What are you looking for? I got a We already blue used the hay bale. Yeah. You're gonna pour the alfalfa in there to scoop up some. One more. There, dump it in here, in here. Oh, you're gonna do that for the cow? Let's do it for the sheep. Now do it for the cow. It's all you. Just a little bit. One scoop. Don't get the hay in the water. Thank you. Good morning, Lily. Good morning. Good morning, Almanzo and Royal. Potty break. Well, I'm waiting on Mr. Brown. I got a little honey to-do list for the beautiful one. Lowe's. Hints. For butchering. One more. Kiss. Justin, number one priority. Potty break over. Let's get back to work. Listen, bears way back at the barn. Did we get a response? At least she's coming. Such a good mom. Such a good mom. Hey, how's the honey do list going? Oh, it's going great. Do you you're getting the minerals from? I think it all I think it all started out. Rebecca started reading Pat Colby's Natural Sheep Care, mm -hmm. and she does six minerals, and that led you to Advanced Biological Concept, which does sixteen minerals. Well, I was looking at it for the cows. Yeah. And then. I just noticed that, oh, they do sheep and goat minerals too. And so then yeah. I started thinking, well, it's just, it's just gonna be easier for me. We can just order one set of minerals and we can use them for both the cow and the sheep. You know, Rebecca was talking about remineralization. That's what I'm waiting on to get the sheep out, you know, and away from the stall and the fact that I need to herbalize smalls three times a day. That just makes it a lot easier to keep them close to the house, put them up in the stall, let them out when the grass is dry, get them strong, and then we'll get them out. And the whole thing with mineralization of your animals is that if the land had the minerals on it, then the, the animals would be eating the grass and they would be getting the minerals from the grass. But because land is deficient, you have to remineralize it, and a great way to do that is you feed them, you put the minerals out, free choice for the animal, then they take in what they need, mm -hmm. and they poop it out, and then that their poop then helps remineralize the land. Hey, okay, now I get the air out. Okay. Can I feed one? Can I do it now? Come on in. You want to try? Yeah. Okay. If I'm gonna have sheep, I have to learn how to do this too. Come here. Get him. Okay. Just put it in the middle and squirt a little bit, not all of it. Okay, that's enough. Let him get it. Okay, do it again. You're getting it all over his mouth too, oh. and me. Yeah. Go get the you other better one. do the rest. All these lambs and cows are all they're doing is telling us yes. where we lack our minerals on our land. Yeah. And they're eating it, pooping it out, and remineralizing the land. So yeah. we have to do this less and less in the future. 
Come on out. Come on, Jenna. And I was also reading in relation to parasites that when the land is remineralized, there's less parasite. There are still parasite issues. I don't think we're ever gonna have, you know, I don't think you ever get away from parasite issues, but I think that it's definitely uh, something that can maybe not be as intense as what, what we've experienced in the last couple weeks. This afternoon, we gotta move the cows to a corner of the pasture. It's rough, like we gotta mow an area for an electric fence. First, we gotta get bare. Oh shoot, we left that on. Ah. Let's drive back. Aha, uh -huh. grazing in the shade. Come on, bear. He gets up there in the protection of stud. There we go. This is nice. You're gonna let me get you. You can make me look good on camera. Look at that, look at that. Super pro. That happens to me every day. When we first had him, he was a pain in the butt to get in. He is getting easier. It's every other day I can walk right up to him. Give him a break from mama so we can get the morning milk. We're tying Bear to this tree. It's nice and shady in here. We don't know how long we're gonna be. Normally, we tie him to a post out in the field because we're just gonna be a few moments making the move and then we take him in. But today, I don't know how long it's gonna take, so. This is super comfy in here, guys. I wish you could okay. feel this. Ready? Oh, I could if his belly wasn't so plungy. <laughs> We're gonna get to it in a second. Boy, they love the mowing job. Uh, let's go scout it, honey. Let's open this. Uh, get that wire up off the ground onto that wire. Did we bring a hammer? Look how crazy. You know, it makes me wonder. Look how bushy. Look. That's Jonah. Look at that weed there. Makes me wonder if we even need a fence through here because are they gonna really go back? And then who cares if they do? I don't think we need it. Sorry to disappoint you, Jonah, but I don't think we need to mow. That's a, two day, that's a one day paddock for how bushy it is. Come on, come on. We got our gate fence up over here. Gate fence up down there so they can't backtrack. Their only way is through there, and then they'll have that for a shade. You'll figure it out. I'm just gonna show them, show them the way. Ah, 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 no, 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 no! Oh boy, you just stepped right over that. I meant to fix that. Show them the way, Violet. That tall grass there? Mm -mm. I don't think you can call it, call it grass. Violet wasn't about to go in there. Stud muffin skipped the fence. They're happy right there. Let's listen. Let's listen to the animals. Let's make this their paddock. We'll mow that down and it'll be better next time. We've got the cows. They roamed over there. We've got them back in over here. It's sort of just our, we've got our posts up. Now let's run our line. Jonah, come on. That went pretty easy. Now we need to get a cross fence. They don't need that much of a space. We want them to more evenly mow. Well, we got done with that. We got a lane going back to the shade. We got access to our water. Now Jonah's dream is coming true. We're gonna get to mow. We're gonna mow that gnarly, bushy stuff they won't even eat for next time. <laughs>